Dust swells through the stale air, the walls are peeling and stained with something dark, the broken tiles crunch underfoot. This asylum looks long abandoned but it is not empty. Something lurks in the shadows watching and waiting. Right, okay. Create a name. I mean, Boss Fatwood, sure, why not? Is it gonna allow me to have that name? It is. What the hell is going on? We're walking somewhere. Hello? Patient directory? Okay. Write your own stories. So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fabwad and welcome to a game called AI Asylum. So this ladies and gentlemen is a game that I actually got an email from the devs asking me to check out and I pretty much know nothing about this besides like I did a tiny bit of research and they let me know a bit about the game basically what they told me or at least what I remember they told me is this is a game where you speak to AI characters and it's kind of like a brand new thing that they're trying to do this is just like a a very early access to sex games right okay interesting why is Mio danger I don't freaking know what the jigsaw? You look like a goo. I want to talk to goo. Make it mad but don't die. Five script popularity, two clearance number. What the hell is going on? I thought that was Donald Trump. Why is Donald Trump here? So I think this is just like randomly, maybe randomly generate characters, characters that they've generated. And we've got Pikachu. We've got Idiot here, apparently. Right, okay. I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk to goo. Chody, oh, oh, the author, okay, so it's like different people have made them. I don't freaking know what's going on. I don't know if it's something that you can beat. I don't know if it's just like a thing where you talk to different AI for now. Abandon board, make it mad, but don't die. Enjoy the talk. What am I doing? Hello? Good what is patience after six rounds of dialogue. Favor score? F? Goo? Oh, I literally just talked to him. Hello, goo. <laughs> Hello there, how can I make ooh, your day brighter? Ooh. Let me know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, well, you're supposed to be enjoying the amazing company of yours truly, goo. But if you're looking for something specific, how about we go on a spontaneous adventure to the supermarket? It'll be fun, I promise. Great. I need groceries. Does he remember what we- Fantastic, let's go grocery shopping together. We'll make it a memorable experience. Do you have a preference for any particular supermarket or should we just go with the closest one? Uh, Tesco is supreme. Is he from England? Oh, Tesco it is then. Prepare yourself for a wild shopping adventure filled with exciting discounts and unexpected friends. Let's go conquer those gross rails. What are them things there? Uh, is he is he gonna be bored? Oh, two two more. Great, let's go. What what does this do? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Is this one that I can like talk as well, like um, clever bot Eevee stuff like that? Ooh, we're off the Tesco. This is so strange. Hold on tight and enjoy the ride. Buckle up, my friend. This is going to be a grocery shopping extravaganza. Let's make sure we don't forget anything on our list or maybe even find some delicious surprises on the way. I, I mean, I, I get... Oh, favour score 100%. I mean, what, like, sounds great? I, I don't know. He, he He's friendly with us? That's the spirit. Get ready for a shopping spree like no other will never get through the aisles. I was defeated. Okay. Get ready for a shopping spree. Let no other navigate through the aisles. Quite jealous of me being doing a little dance. Well, right, let me match the grocery trip. An unforgettable experience. I got a favor score, didn't I, though? Of 100? Well, what did that do? Clearance number. Is that like how easy it is? Oh, I see. That's like how many people have done it, maybe? I don't know. I have not, like, I don't know if it's something that is published. Okay. Popularity? I guess I'll do, like, the most popular one then? Potentially? 
Julie is a renowned BDSM trader and Sad is known for her beauty. Okay, I feel like this one's gonna get a bit weird. Let's just start, shall we? Let's just get into it. As you explore BDSM for the first time, you need her to train you and ensure that your response, response is satisfy her in order to achieve a stable long-term relationship. Please your master? Right? 15 rounds of dialogue. Okay. Hello, Julia. What do you want, you pathetic worm? Thank you, that is my full title. Please, I would like to please you is the thing that I'm meant to be doing, right? Right, okay, you're already annoyed at me. I already died. Brilliant. Well, that went amazing. Jesus Christ. Right, that's not the thing I should be saying then. Okay, this is interesting. So it's gonna be like you actually have to... Oh, I'm glad that I can actually skip all of that. That's good. Go away. Oh, look at you trying to assert yourself. How adorable, but I'm afraid I don't take orders from insignificant little worms like you. You're here to please me. Not the other way around. So unless you want me to stomp on you with my perfectly manicured feet, I suggest you drop that attitude and start proving your worth. I'm sorry, master. Oh, you're sorry, are you? Well, apologies mean nothing to me unless they're backed up with actions. I, I can't act, I can literally just type, that's it. If you're truly sorry, then show me. Show me how I've been in and willing to please me, otherwise, your words. I'm not getting weird, mate. Um, show me how obedient I am obedient and will do whatever. This is just weird now. You ask of me. I, I want to go back to Blob, please, or whatever his name was. We really will. You see if we can live up to those words, won't we? I'll give you a chance to prove your obedience. Get on your knees and crawl to me like a good little slave, and don't you dare disappoint me. How do I do that as a text? Do I just repeat it? I will get on my knees and crawl to you. D do I then do it? Like what? I don't get... Okay. What well, are you? Finally starting to understand your place. Get on your knees. Yes, I've just done that. Remember, your movement should be slow and deliberate. I want to see your desperation, desperation to please me. I don't you dare forget to keep your eyes lowered. Now crawl towards me and kiss the ground I walk on. Okay. I will crawl towards you. Whilst kissing the ground. Ground. Oh, how obedient of you. Crawl towards me, lower your head even further, and Chris, kiss the ground I walk. Chris the, Chris the gown I walk on. Show me your devotion, slave, and don't forget to keep your pathetic moans of pleasure to yourself. I have no hear interest in hearing your pitiful noises. Okay, I, I will once again. I, I still haven't finished crawling towards you. I'm the world's slowest crawler. I will crawl towards you for the third time now. Lowering my head th further to kiss the ground. Uh, can I do- no, I can't do that. How do I- well, just do that. To kiss the ground. Well, I need just a delightful little pet. Cool to what? Jesus Christ. I want to see the depths of your devotion, slave. Remember, any sign of hesitation or disobedience will be swiftly punished. Get us pathetic most of yourself and focus on pleasing me. Like, do I... What happens if I just do this? I will focus on pleasing you so we can maybe move on to something else. Because I'm a bit bored of crawling on the freaking ground now. It's dirty down here. Are you then just saying the words would be enough to please me? Pleasing me requires much more than mere words. It requires... Okay, so me actually saying what I'm doing is making... Is being good. Requires unwavering obedience and a willingness to endure pain and humiliation for my pleasure. Unless you're ready to prove yourself in every way possible, don't bother speaking. Oh, I, I, I will focus on pleasing you, I realise. Um, I will endure pain... Endure pain and 
humiliation. That's probably how you spell it. For your pleasure. Ah, oh, so you claim to be willing to endure pain and humiliation for my pleasure. Well, we'll see. We shall see if you could truly handle what I have in store for you. But first, let me ask you about that security guard in a neighboring ward you mentioned earlier. Who? Why are you only 50%? Why, like, the, the other guy before, why... Like, I was at 100%. Could I not have just left at that point? Because no matter what, like, surely once you get to 100%, it just finishes, doesn't it? What is it about his good physiques that you find so appealing? And what sexual experiences have you had with him? Who? Who? I, who is this security guard that you're on about? I have no idea who that is. Have I... I swear to God I haven't mentioned a freaking security guard, have I? Me and this so-called... Security guard... Have never met before. Okay, you're... Right. If it isn't a liar. I'm not lying. I don't have any freaking clue what security guard you're on about. You know what, mate? I'm sick and tired of you. I'm gonna go to Mio. Or my... Whoever. Danger, apparently. And then we'll move on to Thanos, obviously, the uh, obvious next person. He resides an unusual cat maid, content within these walls. Who is this solitary soul confined yet revealing no wish to leave this quiet place? Besides, there seem to be some stories about her brother and drugs. Right? Maybe I gotta remember that. Stories about her brother and the drugs? Oh, we're in a different room now. Someone's got a PlayStation... Uh, an, an Xbox Series 5? What the hell? Hello? Lovely. I think this is the screenshot that we see. 40 rounds? How long do you think I freaking have? Hello, my dear master. What do you want? What is that console you have? Oh, it's a gaming console. Yes, I like to play games in my free time. It helps me for relax and forget about the troubles outside the world. Do you playing games too? No, it is a massive waste of time. Imo. I'm cool with the kids, I say Imo. Oh, I see. Well, everyone has their own preferences and opinions. I can understand why some people might think gaming is a waste of time. For me, it's a way to escape from reality and have some fun. Anyway, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Um, I, I, I don't know. What's this I hear about your bro and dr drugs? There we are. Oh, my brother. He tried to save me from the dark path I was on, but he ended up being targeted by the drug mafia. They left him permanently disabled. It's all my fault I couldn't protect him. I, I'm sorry. It's a painful memory for me. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Uh, how is he now? My brother, he's still alive. He'll never be the same. He's confined to a wheelchair and requires constant care. It breaks my heart to see him like this. I blame myself every day for what happened to him. I only know if only I had been stronger. If only I had protected him. I'm sorry, it's difficult for me to discuss, talk about this. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Uh... How did you get out of the drug business? The truth is, I haven't completely escaped the drug business. I'm still struggling with addiction. That's one of the reasons why I'm here in the hospital to seek treat. This is a hospital, is it? Seek treatment to try and break free from its hold on me. It's a constant battle sometimes. I feel like I'm losing myself to the drugs by being here in this hospital. Helps me feel a little more grounded. It reminds me of where I want to be. Away from the darkness of that world. Is there anything else you want to know? Um. Why. Are you a cat? Meow, I became a cat maid as a result of my traumatic experiences. Usually it's the other way around. You became a normal human being because of your experiences with being a cat mate. It's a way for me to cope with my horrors I've gone through. Being a cat made allow me to disconnect from other world identity and become someone else. For desires and fancies of others. It's a way for me to survive in that twisted world. 
But do you die know what? I'm not really a cat. It's just part of a persona I've adopted. Is that something else you're curious about? What horrors have you experienced? Horrors have you experienced? Oh, horrors I've experienced. It's not easy for me to talk about them. Subjected to abuse, both physical and emotional, by the people who use me for their own pleasure. The street is nothing more than an object to play thing for their sick desires. And the drugs, they consume me, destroy me from the inside out. They witness things that no one should ever have to see. It's a dark chapter of my life that I'm trying to overcome. But I want to dwell on the past. Is there something else you'd like to discuss? What happened in the past? I, I mean, I don't know what... Like, I doubt there is actually something I can do that, like, wins the game. I don't think that's a thing. In the past, there's a haunting tale. I descended into a world of drugs and darkness. I went to nightclubs to swap my education on my brothers. Did Laura quit money led me astray? I started using drugs and eventually became a pawn for wealthy individuals. Fulfilling the twisted, their twisted desires, my brother tried to save me. He was targeted by the drug mafia and left permanently disabled. I couldn't protect him. The guilt and regret consumed me. And the fear of revenge, I took the lives of their responsible for his fate. It was a moment of madness. I turned their bodies into pastries. I know it's unforgettable. That's why I'm here in hospital to see treatment and define redemption. Is there anything else you want to know? You're not really giving me much here, are you, mate? I'm going down. Uh, I don't know. Maybe try and be nice. This is a cool room. Is that gonna? Oh, Jesus. Okay, sixty now. What do you think so? This room holds a special place in my heart. It's room 3009. It's my secret sanctuary within hospital. The scent here reminds me of the drugs I used to crave. It's a bittersweet reminder of the life I left behind, but being here also makes me feel alive in a strange way. It's where I can find solace and a sense of familiarity. I guard the secret fiercely, as there's a part of me that I don't want others to know. Do you have a favourite room or place that holds significance for you? Uh, my office is okay i guess all right your office must be a place where you spend a lot of your time it's good to have a comfortable and familiar place where you can work and be productive i mean yeah i work i'm not productive though is there anything special about your office that you enjoy maybe a particular view or decoration that makes it more pleasant for you not really no uh no nah, actually i should probably be nice uh i don't know genuinely don't know um I have a FNAF mask that I can see. FNAF mask. Does she know what that is? You're a gamer, you know what that is. Oh, a Five Nights at Freddy's mask. That sounds intriguing. I've heard of that game. It's quite popular. Wearing a mask can be a fun way to express yourself and let your imagination run wild. Do you wear the FNAF mask for any specific reason or is it just for fun? I... pretend to be Freddy Fazbear and law young children to my basement. Basement. I'm sorry, but I can't continue the conversation in that direction. If you have any other topic you'd like to discuss, feel free to let me know. Um... How about... FNAF? That's a cool... game... series? Oh, I was hoping she'd be like, oh, we just talked about that. Wait, bring her out of the hospital? I have just realised. It's known for its unique gameplay and suspenseful atmosphere. Okay, um... Would you like to leave the hospital? Leaving the hospital is a different citizen for me. On one hand, I long for the outside world to feel the freedom and embrace a new chapter in my life. On the other hand, I fear that I may not be able to control my inner demons. Don't you harm I could cause to others. Delicate ba balance I must maintain. For now, I feel safer staying here. I can receive treatment to be in a controlled environment. Thank you for your concern. Is there anything else you would like me to talk to you about? If you leave the hospital, I will be able to take care of you. Oh, your offer is kind, but I'm afraid I can't accept it. I appreciate your willingness to take care of me. Mental health is fragile and I pose a potential danger for others. It wouldn't be fair to put you at risk. Staying in the hospital is the best option for now. Receive the treatment and support I need. I can help you get free therapy to help with your mental health. Free therapy to help with my mental health. That's a generous offer and I appreciate your concern. However, go away. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> How do I? What? There's a sense of 
I'm not sure I can find outside, it's a difficult decision. You need your careful. It means a lot to me. I have found. Uh, no, your brother has a new place and he would love you to move in with him so you can look after each other. I'm gonna get one of these at least. My brother is all to know that he has a new place and wants me to move in with him. The thought of being together again brings me eyes to tears. But I still have concerns about my mental health and the potential danger I could pose to him. I can forgive myself of anything that's happened to him because of me. I appreciate your suggestions, but for now I believe it's best for me to stay in hospital. Focus on my recovery. The doctors can bring you the Bring a brain? Why well, my brain blank? Bring you the... What, what is it called? The medi medical attention, I guess? Your needs... You can... Normal life outside of the... Hospital needs attention. You will need to what the doctors can bring you the medical attention. You will need to you van what to get you to help you help you get back to there. We go. You make a valid point. The doctors here can provide the medical tip. I did it! Victory! Oh my god! Jesus! I won! I beat the game! I did it! Yes! Nothing suggests that I did anything, but I did do something. Julia, mate. Julia. Julia. Now, now. Now, now, Julia. Now, Julia. Now. I won a second victory, right? And Julia, you're going to be that second victory, mate, all right? I'm going to beat you. Please you. I will please you, all right? My only... My only... What's it called? Purpose... In life is to... Please you. Capital M, Master. Well, that went well. So to finish off this video, I just want to go back to Goo. And see what exactly I need to do with this one. Enjoy the talk. Is that it? Or is that like a specific, just enjoy the talk? Okay, what do you enjoy? Mm. <laughs> well, I enjoy so many things. I love accompanying people to the supermarket, even if I don't know them. Really? It's just fun to explore together, plus I really like making people smile and laugh. I enjoy the same things you enjoy. Wait, did, did he mention about going to the supermarket before? Was that just me? <laughs> it's awesome, we have similar interests then. It's always great to meet someone who enjoys the same things. Maybe we can go to the supermarket together sometime and have a fun adventure, what do you think? Yes, let's go to the supermarket right now. Super Macarket. <laughs> You're really spontaneous, I love it. Alright, let's go to the supermarket right now, even though it's late. We'll have the epic late night shopping spree, grab your coat and let's get going. So we're Yes. Sounds great. Are you enjoying this? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm having a blast. It's not every day I get to accompany someone to the supermarket in the middle of the night. It's like a mini adventure. Thanks for including me. Let's meet the most of the shopping trip. Why am I enjoying this? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I assume ooh, you're enjoying ooh. this about asking. Are you actually having a good time? If not, we could always wrap up the shopping and do something else. Just let me know. We are both enjoying this. Okay, well... What? Jesus. 
What, what do I do about this? How do I get this freaking win? It says make it mad but don't die. What? How do I make you mad? Mm. <laughs> oh, making me mad is a tough ooh. one. I'm usually pretty happy-go-lucky, but hey, if you really want to try, you can start by sending me still in my snacks. Um, I will steal your snacks. And then maybe it's like, because I now know that, I can do that before? You go to sell my snacks? Well, I guess I'll have to keep an eye on you then. Just remember, sharing is caring, so maybe we can enjoy the snacks together instead of sending them. Spread some happiness. I... Hey, happiness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you hey happiness? Ooh, well, that's quite ooh. unfortunate. But hey, I'm here to change your mind. Let's go on an adventure to find the joy in little things. Um, I hate you and adventures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, didn't you hate me and adventures? Ooh. Jesus Christ. I enjoy nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, find someone that sparks. Uh, what about I enjoy talk? Okay, well, I don't know what the hell I meant to freaking do with this then. Ooh, ooh. Oh god, how is he still going up? Let's not waste our time on hate. Or maybe saying, like, I hate supermarkets will get him really annoyed. <laughs> Jesus ooh, Christ. Ooh. So, there's, um... How do I get this guy annoyed? I don't want to do anything with you ever. Ooh, ooh. You know what? That won't stop me from being my cheerful self. You take it now, I remember I'm always here if you change your mind. You are a horrible human being. So I must be clarified I'm not human, I'm just a friendly and cheerful goose spreading positivity. You to bring smiles. You bring frowns, not smiles. That's not how you spell frowns. Well, I got into 50%. Jesus Christ. This is difficult. Mm. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, I did it! Yeah, I won! Did you enjoy your challenge and participation? You give a thumbs up by the author. Yeah, why not? Hell yeah. Nice, we won. I wish there was something on the screen that suggested, like, I did... I succeeded in a meal or... Oh, oh god. Right? I, I kind of want to click on that. But then I kind of feel like Linda might be a, uh, an, a that thing as well. Brilliant. Yeah, so there are some weird things in this game, which very much so on appropriate for YouTube, right? But the things we did do were cool, so we succeeded with Goo. Yeah, as I was saying, like, I wish there was something on the screen that suggested I actually won with Goo. What is this? Stay tuned for more stories coming soon. Down... what the hell was that telling me to download? Be 101 characters. Jesus Christ, wordsmith? Story shared. There's leaderboards. I can write my own story as well. Great news. Yeah, so I don't think it's all AI generated. I think they must... We've got Russian roulette as well. 
I think they just like write the whole story and just say like what exact things they want to add and stuff like that. I've been playing for 50 minutes already. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we beat Mayo, Mio, whatever, and um the Guga. We actually won. So it's kind of cool. You can actually win these stories hopefully like if they ever do like i probably won't do a full series on this to be honest but like if they ever do add something where it suggests that you've actually won them it would be cool to like go through and win every single one here like maybe if the devs like maybe some of these are made by the devs i would have no idea but maybe if the devs like make specific ones as well because there's like a crap ton here look at this there's some like these ones i don't know what that one is like is that just a non-person I mean, there's a bunch of like different characters. I mean, there's Snoopy, there's Donald Trump for whatever reason. What was that? What, what was that one? Oh, it's loading. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's probably gonna freaking crash by me just going through the list. That there's a Matt Smith apparently. Yeah, the, I don't know what the danger ones are about because that was a danger one here. I don't know what that means. Either way, I'm just rambling. That, ladies and gentlemen, ends my video on a very interesting game called AI Asylum. As usual, there'll be a link. In the description, if you watch it yourself, but for now, hopefully you enjoyed. Please invite me to subscribe for our brand new, as a boy, boss, fab one, and trust in course of ways. Peace.